Hello there. I've been gone for a minute, but now I'm back. It's been a little while, but hey, it's the month of May, and it's that month where we get to celebrate and champion mothers on mollymarachel.com and, well, basically all over the world. So I wanted to speak to you who's a first-time mom, um, and maybe you're about to deliver. You know, you've circled that due date on your calendar and you're just waiting for your bundle of joy to get here. I'll be very honest with you in this video and um, here's hoping that you won't be scared but you're going to prepare mentally and be ready for the process because even as we are dealing with a the theme on my website, hashtag being mommy, we all have got to start from the process itself of being a mother and how that journey begins at birthing the dreaded contractions right now first of all don't even expect really everything to go like how we've seen them in the movies okay hollywood thank you very much but you lied to us <laughs> don't expect really for your water to just break you know just suddenly bah! no it might be in drips i spoke to a friend of mine at the office and i asked her how would you describe contractions because i mean you read books and they have their statistics and everything but from a mother's perspective who's been there how would you describe them and she told me rachel you know that urge that you have you know to poop like to really really poop <laughs> now imagine that feeling like a hundred times over and here's the thing you can't push you can't release you have to hold it in that of course accompanied by the pain because your body is really literally contracting to push the baby out of the birth canal and I was like what that is actually how it feels okay especially when you are now about to deliver because they're so close together and you have the urge to just push and to get the baby out but the doctor will even tell you eh, please relax it's not yet time because you've not dilated enough imagine that eh? that's why you hear mother saying i was in labor for seven hours some um, 24 hours yeah that's why we are celebrating mummies right here on this youtube channel another thing you have to be ready for is many many hands inside your vagina ah! yeah <laughs> and there's really nothing sexual about it believe it or not there's really nothing sexual about it because you'll have doctors come in and check whether you're dilated to the full 10 centimeters we'll have nurses come in medical students will be told okay now this is the time for you to learn the practicals and you know stick your hand up there of course with gloves on and then see whether she's dilated enough so expect that sour sour like i said you will feel nothing well you should really feel nothing at first it might be uncomfortable but as time progresses while you're in labor you won't even think anything of it so all right so that's another thing you need to be ready for prepare for that from there now um after you have dilated say to the full 10 centimeters and it will take some time to get there for many mothers it takes some time so also, also prepare for that you might need to walk around you might need to do some exercises light exercises for you to now fully dilate so be ready for that as well it's, it's mentally challenging but you need to focus so after that now and uh you've been rolled into the delivery room uh, this is where you feel that eh, it's now time this baby needs to come out and he needs or she needs to come out now i'm tired let's get it over and done with Cindy. so while you're there of course you'll be told okay now get ready to push i'll give you a very interesting story of what happened to me in the delivery room so Nigeria, how we watch movies i mean really what happens is that the mother-to-be is there on the bed on the delivery table and she gives it a her all, you know, I mean, she screams as the baby comes out. So really, that's all I knew, right? <laughs> so Malimu here tried to be dramatic. I said, okay, the doctor just told me to push. It's time for me to just let out a loud scream and just push the baby out. There I was screaming until one of the nurses just came up to me and said, No, no, 
What are you talking about? Don't scream. <laughs> and that's why she goes on and says, no, honey, please concentrate on your breathing. You're actually using a lot of energy screaming. What you need to do is, you know, you can grunt, okay? And just concentrate on all your muscles pushing the baby out. So that's another thing and a misconception I like to clear right here, right now. Again, Hollywood, you lie to us, but it's all right. I'm here to set the record straight. So, so this is where now you, you need to focus and also where the contractions come in to help you because now you're working together with the contraction. Remember before when you were in labor, you were working against because contraction is telling you push, but the doctor is telling you don't push. Now you've been told when the contractions start, okay, when it's just hitting the peak, then you also need to push because now it's your muscles and the contractions helping you, okay, to push the baby out. And so you push and you push and you push it's like you push and then you relax when the contractions go you relax okay and then you now just regain your energy focus on your breathing again something i have to insist over and over again concentrate on your breathing there might be shallow like or deep like but concentrate on your breathing and you'll soon get to understand that there's a rhythm and a pattern to your you know breathing sounds up all right Two things can happen here. You might deliver your child in, you know, 10 minutes or 15 minutes. For some women, maybe because they don't have the energy and they can't push, then the doctor might just say, you know what? We'll have to go in C-section. Your baby gets tired with, uh, you know, the pushing. And then it's like when you relax, you even feel the baby go back in the bath canal. It's like, whoop. You know, it's like literally like how poop and, you know, constipation, <laughs> like you're trying to push it out. And then at some point you get tired. So it slowly goes back in again, literally like that. I know it's graphic, but I have to explain it to you so that you clearly understand. And it's for you, uh, dear mom to be, uh, to now get into that state of mind. Okay. To fully understand what's happening to your body. So every time you relax, it's like the baby goes back in a little bit and you see that whole out and in, in and out and all that might end up being tiresome for the baby and that's why the doctors say okay i don't think you're able to do this let's just go in and take the baby out by c-section now there's a point in time where i got tired and the you know the doctor's like okay now rachel i think you're too tired we have to go in and my goodness that's when everything awoke in me and i said no we're pushing this baby out there's no way i have labored i've done so much only for me to get here and to just say at the c-section nah, eh. this baby coming out and he coming out naturally okay and there's no shame whether it's by c-section or natural birth at the end of the day so you just want a healthy child but in my mind i was just so fully focused on getting the baby out naturally so i was settling on that plan and plus so that is a good motivator for you to push the baby out <laughs> Let's be honest, this is Africa, Bwana. So eventually, my beautiful baby boy came out and yeah, he was a little bit tired, a little bit blue, but they were able to just, you know, give him air and all that. From then out, the nurses take over and uh, it's time for you to just chill. And imagine the minute, like literally, the minute your baby is out, the pain just disappears. It's done, it's over. And it's so amazing. It's like, okay, wow, what just happened, right? So now it's for you to just be, uh, you know, sewn up. They had to snip a little bit of, you know, down there to get the baby's head out. It happens, so be ready for that. And here's the thing also, you won't feel it. Like, seriously, you will not feel as the, you know, doctor cuts a little bit. After that, they do a nice sewing. And yeah, it, it's done and you're taken out to relax and to chill because then again your body has actually been through trauma and you need to relax you need to gain your strength you need to calm down okay after that comes the healing process and we'll get into that in just a bit Hi, Kyox. Mambo. Who is that,
Eh. Like they they want an interview on radio ama ah they want to interview me. Okay. Please just give them my email address and then they can Poa. Ai, asante. Okay, bye. Beshara. baby has now been taken to the nursery right because they also need to just relax and almost like um, be introduced into the world eh? it's not really immediate that uh, the baby will be uh, given to you for you for him or her to suckle but first una relax rest mtoto pia anapumzika akiwa kitandani mwake anaweza letwa pale pale kwako karibu na wewe ama mwanzo kulekwe nasari wa check check wa mweke tag either kwa mkono au mguu for identification purposes and here's the thing by the way it's always a good idea um, to spot something unique about your child so that you can just differentiate him or her from the other babies who probably be there in the nursery apart from the tag i know i'm just probably just paranoid but i insisted on my hubby to go and check on any birthmark anything unique about him um, just so we can know okay this is our boy so sorry in case there's just a mix up because these things do happen all right so you're taken to your room and nurse comes in gives you a basin and um, some salt <laughs> to me was shocking I'm like what what is this for <laughs> It's very interesting, eh? <laughs> I remember asking the nurse, Inia Lili. <laughs> and I was so green. Yeah. These are the things our mothers don't tell us. You know, they just don't tell us these things. And then you're left there wondering, what happens? What is this about? Anyway, um, yeah. So she tells me now this. You'll take like a handful of the salt, put it in uh, the basin with hot water. And then you'll sit in the basin, okay? Uh, maybe in some hospitals they've got uh, you know the bathtubs and everything but it's better to just be you know have your own you know because the bathtub is kind of general for everyone when you have your own basin then you know it's also clean you keep it clean and all that so basically so that now you you heal okay and it will help with the stitches with the healing and all that and it has to be every day twice a day um also you need to keep that area clean and for well, just hygienic purposes also and also disinfecting hence the salt all right so i had to do that for a couple of weeks it doesn't really take long yeah but if you don't uh, do it as as often as you should then it's going to prolong and also the danger with that is it's probably going to be infected the wound okay down there so you have to really really adhere to the instructions that the doctors and the nurses have given you so hi um another thing is of course there'll be some bleeding i know i know you're not ready for that but it will happen so make sure you carry your own sanitary towels it's very important the hospital also provides but if there's a certain brand you're used to, then stick to that. It color, you know, it goes a long way. because you're a mother, you've just given birth to a, a baby. So this is nothing compared to what you've just been through. That's what I was telling myself. It will get uncomfortable at times, especially now when you go home, you can't move as much as you want to do. It's a little bit painful. Just walking, getting out and into bed, be ready for that. Because every movement is like wincing sort of, but with time, it all goes away. It's awesome. So I hope thus far, Mereza <laughs> and uh, you've been able to pick two, three, four, everything that I've been telling you, and that you are feeling more prepared for just the birthing process. And what I'll do is I'll take you through many instructional videos of how to feed or how to just you know be ready mentally for being a mom those sleepless nights what you need to do and so on and so forth that's the message i'm trying to give you you're not alone in this i will be here to help you all right so make sure you subscribe to my channel yeah we are using that hashtag being mommy on facebook and on twitter those conversations and we can have them right here on the channel itself hop up on your youtube because of Nambia, how was your birthing experience? Were you as dramatic as I was? 
were there any misconceptions that you later on looked back and you're like yeah what was i trying to do <laughs> back then any advice you'd like to give to be moms because this is what it never said yana just so we can make this process less stressful and less worrying because what you need to be concentrating on is delivering this baby or fake one any other thoughts of, oh my gosh what is this and what is that we're here to help each other